Hi, I'm Lisa Butterworth, also known as Kenzie, and you can find me on Kenzie.com. So uh, by day, I am a software trainer, and by night and weekends, I am a henna artist. I've been doing henna for about 15 years, and I'm based in Brooklyn, New York. So these uh, videos that I'm doing are kind of a marriage of my day job and my night job, teaching you all, henna artists out there, how to use software to um, help with your henna business and specifically use Photoshop to help make better henna photos. So today's class is how to watermark your photos so that nobody steals. So we all know stealing is bad, so we don't do it, but um, what you want to do is also prevent people from stealing your photos and if they do steal your photos that your information is on them using watermarking. So I'm going to be using Photoshop to do this. So first thing you want to do is open the photo that you want to watermark. And I have one already set up for that here. And you want to create a new layer. This is going to be a text layer where you're going to put your the text of your watermark. So I'm just going to click over here on the layers palette and choose new layer. And I'm going to call that layer watermark. And I'm going to click OK here. All right, so now I'm ready to start putting in text. So I click the text tool. For those of you who like keyboard shortcuts, it's just the letter T. And now with my cursor, I'm just going to click and drag an area across my photo where I'm going to put the text. So I'm clicking and dragging, and I'm just going to type in my text. So um, All right, so I've put in my website, so if somebody steals my photo, at least it goes back, somebody knows where it came from, and I'm putting in a message. Um, you can put whatever you want, or just have your website, or henna by so-and-so. So do whatever you want. I've chosen a, a big font so that the letters are clear and big, and then later I'll make it um, more transparent so that it won't obscure the image as much, but we'll do that in a later step. So now we select it, we have our text in there. I'm just going to click and drag to select that. And then this is where you would set the font. Like I said, I chose something bold. And I chose, chose a relatively large font size, 150 points. You may want to have just a tiny little watermark and have it just cover a little part of your image, or you may want to have it huge like this. It's completely up to you. All right. So um, you can also change the color of your watermark. Um, however you want to do it, you can do that all here. You can center it like I've done here. Um, and once you're done with whatever settings you want for the text, you just click this check mark. And we'll be going back and doing this again just to show you. So this commits any current changes. Now this is in your document. It is in a watermark layer, and you can edit this. It's not, um, it's not in there. Um, and unchangeable at this point. All right, um, so now we might want to move this around and change it, um, change the positioning of it. So we want to click on the pointer tool up here on the toolbar, keyboard shortcut, if you like those, it's V. So now my cursor is a pointer. I can click and drag this wherever I want. Um, and I can also resize this box by clicking on one of these handles. And I'm going to resize it a, a little bit bigger so that Oh, this is not what I want. It's stretching the text out. So I'm just going to undo that. Um, and I'm actually going to hold down the shift key and resize it like that to make the text bigger and smaller. Okay, the other thing I want to do is um, put this at an angle. I like this to be more angled. So notice when I hover outside of one of these corner anchors on the text box, my cursor turns this little curved double arrow. Once you have that, then you can turn this. So maybe you want it to go all the way across your image like that, and then I'm just going to use the pointer tool to drag it to a better spot. So at this point, let's say you decide, oh, I want to change the font size, or I want to change the text that's in there. You can do that by just clicking on the text tool over here. And it just asks you, do you want to apply the transformation? That means the rotation of this. And you can just click that green ch that um, check mark at the top, or here, if it warns you, you just say apply. All right, so now um, I've clicked the text tool, and I can just select my text. I can make the font smaller just by clicking and dragging and then changing the font size here. So I'm going to um, just type in here. I have readjusted this, so I'm just going to type the new number in here. I'm going to just make it 150 points, 
And I'm also going to resize this text box. This is where I want to resize the text box so it doesn't stretch everything out. And that's actually how I want it to look. I want the one thing on one line and then the other thing on the second line. So that looks good. Again, we're going to click the check mark up here to save those settings for the text layer. I'm going to go back to the pointer here and drag this to a better spot. So that covers up most of the design and hopefully will keep people from stealing. All right, the next thing we want to do is uh, change the opacity of the text so it doesn't completely obscure the design. So to do that we go over here to the layers palette. I'm going to double click on the watermark palette um, layer in the palette. And then up here at the top we have this opacity slider. You can see here in the document a preview of it. If you don't see it you just want to click here in the check mark checkbox next to preview. And I'm just going to click and drag this slider over and just see in the image how it looks. I like something in between 20 and 30. I don't want to obscure the design too much. I want to show off my design a little bit. So I'm going to just put this at 25. You can also just click in here and type the percentage that you want. So that's pretty good. It, it puts the information in there. It makes it visible but doesn't obscure the design. And then I'm just going to click OK to set that. Um, and then you can also adjust the angle if you want to at this point if, um, if you need to resize it. So now that we've set up our watermark, and if this is the watermark that we want to use in all of our photos, we can save this document as a PSD file. It's a Photoshop format and it allows you to maintain all the different layers. So we're going to do that so that we can use this watermark layer in another photo. Um, so to do that, we want to go to File, Save, and because we have multiple layers, the default file type here is PSD, and that's a Photoshop file. So this is exactly what we want, and I'm just going to leave this, I'm going to keep it um, with the same name, watermarking, but with a PSD extension, and just save that. And then if you get this message, you can just click OK. So. Now we have a copy of this saved with all of the layers, um, but this one, this photo with the watermark on the photo, we want to save this and upload it to Facebook or Flickr or whatever. So to do that, you go over here to the layers palette and you click on this little um, arrow here. This is your um, on your layers palette. And we want to choose flatten image. This is going to flatten all the layers and make them all um, one layer in the photo. And then, so we do that, and then now we want to do a file save as to save this as a new file, and we want to save it as a JPEG. So go down here to format. It's set to PSD, but we want to change it to JPEG. And then um, let's just change the name of this one to watermarked photo dot JPEG. All right, and we save that and just OK those settings for the quality. And now you just have one layer. You can't separate the watermark from the photo. So that's good. No one can steal your photo and split the watermark layer up. All right, so let's go over how to use that watermark that we created and use it in another photo. So I'm going to close this one. And I'm going to open that photo that has the watermark layers in it. Remember, it's a PSD file. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to go over here and open another photo um, I'm not sure what photo this is going to be, so, okay, this is of my redbud tree. So what we want to do is go to the, f the file that has the watermark in it. That's this one, watermarking.psd, and I'm just going to click and drag it down so that I can see both the watermark file and the image that I want to copy the watermark into. So I'm currently in the watermarking file, and you can see the two layers here, one of which is the watermark. So I'm going to just click on this layer and I'm going to drag it until I'm over that other photo and see how there's the white line around the image, um, around the edge of the image on that screen. And then I'm going to drop that layer in there. Now you'll see here in the layers palette you have the watermark layer and the background. The background is the actual photo. And I can use my pointer tool, which is active right now, to click and drag this wherever I want. All right, so it doesn't have it on the slant as we have it in the other one, but if I'm just going to move it over so I can get the rotation pointer here. So again, I'm just hovering over the corner anchor and I'm just going to click 
and drag this and then I'm going to click and drag the whole thing so that I can get it in the right place. So that looks good and if I wanted to have this watermark permanently in this image I would go over here to the file um, I'm sorry I have to OK this um, this uh, layer by clicking on the check mark here and now I want to flatten the layers so if you remember that from before we go to the layers palette click here it's not letting me do that alright there we go click here flatten image now it's all one layer and I can save this as a new document I'm just gonna save save it over the old one and that is it so um, again we have that other file we just save that as something that we can always go to and grab that watermark and drag it into another file alright so I hope that helps you and uh, you can now watermark all of your photos and keep them from being stolen